money in Elder Scrolls Online. Several ways to do this. A lot of different ways, actually. There's uh, gathering stuff and flipping it on the auction house. There's actual flipping on the auction house. And there's robbery and stuff, which I'm going to be doing today on my Nightblade. So um, the first thing I want to show you is this website here. This is the, the Tamriel Trade Center. This is how you check all the prices of everything throughout the whole entire world. So all the guild stores, all the guild traders, um, you can pretty much you can use this to flip stuff. You can look, look, look to see what's the most popular things, which always the most popular things are these uh, crafting materials to upgrade your gear. So like this tempering alloy, for example, is used to upgrade heavy armor to uh, legendary. So upgrading it from purple to gold. Um, these are super high demand. A lot of these things you see this one. I think this is for uh, light armor, I believe. Or maybe this one is light armor. I don't know. It's one of these. Well, these are all the most, most, most popular stuff. Um, you can kind of search things up on here. If if you don't already have a guild trader, then you should join one. And the way to join one is by going up here and uh, you click on guilds. And then you can search for a new one. So you in this drop down menu, guild finder, and then you can just browse guilds. So filter it on the trading and then just find a trade guild. Just put in your applications. Kind of like looking for a job. <laughs> but eventually you'll find one just find the one that works best for you a lot of these guys uh they they have requirements so you got to read carefully and see what their requirements are sometimes they require you to sell a certain uh amount every week so if you're not that active in the game then you probably want to avoid those guilds and you want to go for something a little bit more casual so just look around and see which one works for you definitely join the trade guild because <clears throat> this is the way you're going to be able to access the guild traders um when it comes to flipping things and everything because there's, there's several ways to do this you can either flip items or you can just kind of gather things in the world each zone has basically the easiest concept of of having basically let me just check the stream real quick just to make sure it's okay <clears throat> each zone has has its own gear sets so you can look up what the best gear sets are, like the most high demand gear sets and try to farm in that area. For example, the area I'm at right now, this is a uh, Riven Spire. So this is all the way up in the top left of the of the, of the map. Um, Riven Spire drops the Necro Necro Pace, I believe it's called. I, I always mispronounce things all the time. So um, thing is, I'm going to call it Necro Pace. So that set is a pretty pretty valuable set it's a good set so it's it's in kind of high demand uh, there's not a whole lot of people putting them on the auction house and if you can find it in a purple or a blue you're definitely going to be ma making some money you can still make some money as um, if you find it as a green drop but um I definitely recommend you get into crafting. That way you can upgrade these things. This is super, super cheap to upgrade the armor from green to blue. So keep that in mind because that can affect your pricing. Because if you go on here, this is the most important website on the planet Earth. You go here and then uh, you, you go and let's say, I want to find a necro paste thing. Let me go to the search. I'm going to go necro. Let's see what pops up. Hat of Necropace, let's see, let's let's do the bow of Necropace, whatever. Put that, I'm gonna search. Let's do a general search of this. First things that popped up, look, this guy's on crack. He put a, a, the gold version for $50,000. He's on crack. <laughs> but I mean, maybe it's a good price. Maybe, you know, somebody will be desperate enough to say, you know what, I want it in gold and I don't wanna waste my time, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy it for $50,000. You know, you just never know what people's worth are. It's just like in real life, uh, it, it's like it's about supply and demand. And if if the demand is there, there's not a whole lot of people selling it, then you can take advantage of the situation. In this case, it looks like there's a lot of them that are for sale and they're very, very cheap. So they're not going for much money. So this is this is um, 
oversaturated oh look at that we got pages and pages of them so this is super oversaturated that means you're not going to be making much money <clears throat> yo what's up gg how you doing good morning um there is an add-on you can get it's the Tam uh, tamriel trade center add-on what this does is like you can put your mouse over things and it will tell you like the the price is basically from that website i was just looking at still recommend you look at that website to kind of compare things because this can get out of dated and um this is going to be more for like a general like ooh, i think this is worth about five thousand dollars so that you can go look it up make sure that it's within the competition because you want to price your stuff competitively too like let's say if i want if i got the bow of necropace then i want to charge it for less than 234 dollars that way i can sell it because otherwise i'm probably not going to sell it and it's going to be sitting in the auction house for like decades waiting to be sold so that's pretty much the thing you got to keep in mind if you're new to this game i'm doing pretty good yeah i'm just waking up so <laughs> i figured i'll do a live stream and play some uh, elder scrolls um if you're new to this game then um you want to realize that this is not a normal auction house the way it works in this game it's not a normal auction house so it's it's all based on who owns the territory who owns the guild trader itself so let's say if you wanted to buy this this bow right here and you're like ooh, that's a good price i'm gonna go over there and get it but you have to go to vardenfell and you'll have to go to sandara mora and and this is the name of the guild right here chapter house two so that means i have to go to vardenfell okay so let, let's for example this is what you have to do you're gonna have to go Vardenfell. So this is the awesome thing about this this map. You just put click on locations, Bardenfell, and I'm going to San Manam Mor Mora, whatever that is. Let's see where where it is. Oh no, this is it right here. Sara Ramanam Mor Mora. All right, so you go here, and these here are the guild traders. You'll see like the little um, measuring thing. I forget what they call that. The scale. But when you see the scale with the flag on it, that that's basically the guild traders. Go to those guild traders look at them you'll see on their head it will show the name of the person and it will show the name of the guild right underneath it so find the guild search it up see if you can get that same weapon that you're trying to get the bow of necropace and see if it's still available this is why also changing it for how soon they actually uploaded it you see look nine nine minutes ago he just put this bow of necropace so if I wanted to get it right now, I'm pretty sure that's going to be there. So that's pretty much how you got to play this whole auction house system. It's very different than other MMOs. So it's, it takes a little bit more effort. But um, yeah, you can make, make some serious money on this thing. All right, so let me get to my thievery. Thievery, it doesn't really make the best money in the world. I'm telling you that right now. But it's definitely a little bit more interesting and fun than... Uh, playing with flipping things on the auction house because you can do that all day long Your if you want to so you never have pockets. to spend a dime but um the the thievery the cool thing about it is that you have you have chances to get really really high priced items off of the mob uh, the other day i finally got a purple piece like they dropped a purple item it was worth fifteen hundred dollars so that's good that's really good because normally I'm only making 100 to 250 per item. So that's pretty amazing. Also, running around in this area, there are chests everywhere. So you can pretty much open up these chests. And these chests have chances to drop gear sets. So right now I got a Ruby Ash thing. And let's see. And these Greaves, which they're not worth anything. So whatever. So those are things I'll um, I'll break apart, and um, I'll probably just save the materials. There's also the gathering of things. This is what I do pretty much consistently. The only downside is you, to to really be able to take advantage of gathering things out in the world. You need to get uh, Elder Scrolls Plus because what it does is it gives you the unlimited crafting bag. 
This makes it so much easier to manage your items. Otherwise, you're going to be suffering for in inventory. You're going to have to run to your bank all the time. You're going to have to make alts to, to carry your items on. It's very, very annoying. So if you can handle being annoyed by those things, then you can play this game for free. But if you're like me and get easily annoyed by things like that, then um, you're going to have to spend the money. I guess it's worth the $15 a month just for this alone. This is like the main reason to get it, really. But then you also get DLCs and stuff, so it's like, eh, why not? Even though I haven't... I don't I don't really see a reason to go to the DLCs yet. I just I have... There's too much content in this game. There's so much content in this game that it's it's to the point where you kind of... You kind of get lost, you know? <laughs> like, if you're a new player and you and you look at this map and you go, Holy shit, like, where the fuck do I start first? Like, I don't even know. Well, this all comes to to you, what you want to do with your game play or your, your play style. If, let's say, you really liked Morrowind and you really want to, you know, play in that world, you go over here to Vardenfell, you do the Morrowind stuff. You know, so that's, it's cool. That's, that's what makes this game so special. It's just like, there's so much, so much content. It's just too much. There's no way you could possibly beat the game in, like... A year like I, I just I don't see it being possible to beat this game in a year like not unless you played for 12 hours a day every single day like real and even then there's no way you're gonna possibly just sit there and do only quest for 12 hours a day <laughs> every single day you know like I don't, I don't know it's just un unrealistic so yeah too much content All right, so now I'm just going to be gathering around, getting my stuff, do my normal rounds. I'm probably just going to run around here for a while. Eventually, I want to play some of my alts. So let me let me shut off the recording because I don't want to want to waste my hard drive space. I'm trying to make extra little side videos for YouTube. So I like recording this extra little bits so I can give those like basically tutorial type videos for YouTube and then um, you know just kind of eat shit and play the game because why not I kind of wish I had more AoEs on my new blade that's the only thing that's lacking on this character I have a good single target damage, but pretty much zero AoEs. eggs, do we?
Yeah, you know, I thought you bought one the last time. I don't know why. Don't forget. <laughs> forget to remind me. Oh yeah. And I, I thought you, at one point you didn't like BJ's. You were all about Sam's. Ooh, I got a recipe for cooking. I will call the guard gotta save that for my warden. Warden's the cook. So gotta get him everything. Ah, you see? I knew it. See? Because you're missing her and Ray. Oh right, so just buy the style the period. Sacrifice. When cold harbor calls, Nern obeys. God of schemes, we offer this victim to honor you. I thought you said lizard. <laughs> it's a lizard one. What? Oh, my powers are suppressed. I didn't realize.
Warp Trap can be morphed. Yay. Bum, 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 bum. Let me morph it real quick. Oh, I can't do it while in combat. What? Yeah, so when I leveled up, I leveled up, so I have to make my own theme song. It doesn't do it in the game, so. It just goes. Dum -dum -dum. Like, you know, the, the whole Skyrim thing? Dum -dum -dum. And that's it. Yeah, it's not exciting at all, so I have to go make my own song. <laughs> yes. Your soul is mine. I own you. Come, let us play. Do it. I mean it. I already did it. <laughs> Too late for that shit. I'm just looting everything now. I usually don't don't grab the white things, but I don't think I'm gonna reach my stealing cap today. And unless I played my night blade for most of the day. But I might as well just sell everything. Two good items out of that. They're gonna see me over there, so I'm not gonna kill them.
Oh, come on, bullshit. Oh, how many lockpicks do I have left? One lockpick. 28? No, I'm good. Yeah, necropace ring. All right, I think that's usually worth money. Let's see, necropace ring. Yeah, it's going a little average of a, almost a thousand dollars a piece, so that's not bad. Oh, no. too shabby. I'm gonna check the, the auction house to see what the prices are. But like, here's here's a pretty much an example. So necropace ring. So look at the prices already. Five thousand dollars a piece. These guys are selling look, this one's selling for a hundred, but I'm pretty sure that got bought out already. That was two days ago. Um Ring of Necro Necro okay. Eh. Yeah, the prices are kinda shitty. But these are greens. Let me go over to blues. Damn, there's a list of green ones. Okay, blues start at a thousand, you see? Pretty much what I predicted. So you can pretty much you know what you could do too in this game? Like you could seriously just go if you're down for hunting and just buy out all the people that are low. <laughs> you just do that. Basically do what everybody's doing right now with the toilet paper. Just buy toilet paper until there's none in sock and then you go on ebay and you flip it that's pretty much what everybody's doing assholes all a bunch of assholes but if you want to be an asshole and do that then you can totally do it in this game To you. Does now. Am 
might get caught. Okay, good. Grab this real quick before somebody grabs it. These things are super important. Trying to make their money. And remember, that's an old ass game. So they're bound to do sales eventually, you know? That's why they put they, they had the game for free on PlayStation because it's like look look, you already spent forty dollars, you know? So it was a good move for them to go free. Hit that dolmen real quick. I'm not ready yet. Gathering shit. Plenty of time left. I forgot to morph um, crystal because I could turn it into an AOE and I think I'd rather do that. fill up all my soul gems <laughs> she's on the floor like suffering and shit yeah I think I already opened them all all right cool Flesh is nothing but mort meat to Vangare. Mortal meat. Mortal meat. Oh, it's all about meat. I don't want revenge. I want your submission. Bitch. Happy drops. <laughs> By or I grab this shit before everybody else does. <laughs> Running around looking for only the important stuff. Usually when everybody's coming back from the dolmen, they're always trying real hard to just get whatever rubite they can find. They'll fuck you over. Especially since you've already been farming this spot, you know, if you do this. Man, how that guy catch me out here with this? 
Alright, reset, reset. There you go. Son of a bitch. I knew you were trouble. You bastard. Sit down so I can kill you. Valuable honey. Inventory is still looking pretty good. Exiled cruise. <laughs> hey, what's going on, man? Thanks for the follow on Mixer. What's happening? Ooh, another recipe. Save that for the warden. Nice drop there. I'll leave all these guys alone. I'm trying not to get a, a serious bounty on my head. Try to stay low. And. Chillin'? Nice. You and me the same. Ain't nobody wanna fight you. Right past. Really? Come on. All right. Gonna have to kill this. I need to go back to town and get me some more lock picks. I'm trying to run out. I got plenty of add-ons. A lot of them. I have all the necessary ones. I don't I don't like clutter all over my screen. I don't like numbers flying everywhere. I don't like detailed of information. All I want is just basics. So I got basics. Uh, I made a video on my YouTube channel, which you're on that um, just kind of shows like the four most important ones. And then I have a bunch of others that I kind of added over time. I like this key binder one. That way when you make alts, they, all your keys stay the same. Uh, I like the mini map. I like the trade center. Um, yeah, um, little extra things, extra stuff, but nothing really necessary, you know? Oh, you're talking about um, my crafting stuff? Like, yeah, I, I was using a mod that showed me exactly where all the crafting things were, but it was kind of annoying. I didn't I didn't like the clutter, and at the same time, it's it's you have to find it yourself. Like, I, I was really hoping that when I installed the add-on, it would show me exactly where everything is. You know, 
it doesn't do that like you have to physically find it first and then it'll show you it so it's i don't care about that i'd rather it just show me everything if it's gonna show me everything just show me so since it didn't it's just i deleted that add-on See if there's a chest over here. Nope. Why do I never have viewers? I don't know, man. Help me share this video. <laughs> Help me share the stream. I don't know. Uh, I've noticed that mostly I get I get more views after I already finished the stream. You know, so I've, I've been noticing that lately. So not everybody has time to sit and watch a live stream, you know, so nothing wrong with that. Especially since this can get kind of boring after a while. In all reality, this can be pretty boring. Just watching me run around and gather all this shit for hours. Like, <laughs> this is pretty much all there is. There is a way what to get the get it to show everything. Oh, you son of a bitch. Where the hell did you come from? I like how frustrated they get when they can't catch me. Ah! Now I steal your shit. Oh, where's the other one? Oh, the, yep. Yeah, there's always another one. Right over here. But is it a certain add-on or is it like you have to download files? Because if there is, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind getting it because I, I mainly want to filter it for a certain um, drops, like like the rubite ore things. I've encountered all day. All right, turn around and go fishing again, so I can kill you. There we go. No! I'm stuck in animation going straight. It's an add-on. Disable certain things. Oh, you're on slow internet. Yeah, if you know the name of it, that'd be awesome. I'll check it out. I'm gonna get caught by that one over there. Whatever. Ah, uh, I already killed this this one. Oh, that was the one I was like previously trying to rob. But it's good that I reset her. I'm surprised I didn't get caught. There's been a lot of crime lately. Yep, Let's and I'm gonna do one to you right now. <laughs> Talking about crime. <laughs> My fiance is in, in the other room playing a, a really nice game, sweet. 
The Sims 4. She's just enjoying making her characters, and I'm over here murdering people and stealing their shit. Like, total opposites. Nothing reset out here. Almost dial up. Wow. I remember those days. It was pretty brutal back in the day. Everything should reset by now and go re rob all the people out in the front. Country living, oh man. Nice. Yeah, at least you got the nice scenery, right? Yeah, it's just relaxing and I'm over here like dabbing him in his back. We're just chilling, reading, exercising. That's it. Oh, there's one right here. Urubite ore. Grab that. Rubidites. Harvest map. What? Just, just the harvest map add-on. I think I used that map. I think I used that one, and it didn't show me everything. It only showed me what, what I already gathered. Like I have to gather it first. Unless there was an option I didn't put on. Killing everything. What else you got in here? Okay. Or what it is. Drink? I'll take this drink. I think I take this drink. Inventory's full. Oh shit. Alright, we'll sell. It will show you only when spawned. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll try downloading it.
Nice, I only have a $68 bounty. That's better than my usual upstanding. There we go. I don't help anymore. Alright, let me see. So, harvest map. Yeah, this is the one I downloaded for. For that, there was like an extra tab. DLCs. <sighs> if set right, it shows you where the chest spawn as well. Oh, okay. Also need minion. What's minion? Is that the, that... That app that like installs it for you or something. I've been just ghetto. I've been doing it the ghetto way. Been going like this. Just boom, boom. That's it. Installed. Pretty easy, like, I don't have to worry about too much. <laughs> you little puking. <laughs> Alright, let's see. There it is. It's installed. Got how to access it. Oh, right here. Harvest map. 3D pins on. Overwrite map. Pin filter off. I have these things off right now. I don't know if I'm supposed to put them on. Usually the pins on map, compass, the 3D world are synced. Harvest farm will calculate a tour. With a very high resource per time ratio. After generating a, a tour, click on one of the resources and set a tour starting point. Oh, okay. So it basically shows you the route. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, we'll test it out. Then you need to go into settings. The add on settings. Oh, this is Vaulting map. Harvest map. Uh, you can download the most recent Harvest map data. Okay, let me see. It's tempting to open. Potentially unsafe. Oh shit, I shouldn't go to a virus site. Okay. Hmm. See in the left resource type. Oh, you're you're probably thinking about what I did before, <laughs> like I did a, a while back. Um, you see, it says download new data command. 
This one looks like it's probably what I need to download. Account wide settings, I'll put that on. Alright, let me see. Because you were talking about here. You said some of those off. Check some of those off. I mean, they're all off right now. So should I put them all on? Other icon. Farming tour. Sure. Yeah, I mean the tour is something different. I I would assume. It says three D pins, compass pins. Let's see about the compass pins. Let me see what that does. I'll put it. I'll filter it for fishing spots for now because I just want to see what it does. Let me go over there. sell let me sell first let me use my brain and then then we'll figure out the harvesting map click the wrong one not sure what that one does okay all right i'll i'll, I'll take a good look at it once i sell all my stuff <laughs> let me get my brain together first it launder. I'm gonna launder crafting materials. Go sell the rest. I don't have any pins. Nope. Pretty good to me. Oh wait, these I gotta launder these. Zoomables. reach my cap that's why i don't like selling white items there i made thirteen thousand. i'm bad Thirteen thousand on stolen goods and then, um i gotta sell i probably would have made a lot more I'm if i would have because... deleted the white items and just kept only the green and above. Okay, so these... I'm going to throw these in the bank. Save this for my warden. Hold a ring. Ariel knows I'm... Deposits. I'll put these maps in there too. Like maybe I'll make him find those maps. Darksiders set. Okay, what's worth money? 
Actually, I'll, I'll deposit everything. That way he can break everything apart. I'm trying to get him to craft. Once I max out his crafting, I'll I'll start doing the night the night blade. So um yeah, I'll put everything in the bank. Ooh, I got a purple necro paste. Was that what that was? Inventory clean. Let's get out of here. The exit. I'm gonna stockpile as much green and blue as I can. And then uh, I'll probably save it for tomorrow's chicken dig. Yeah, I was laundering the resources. I already laundered everything. Now we test the harvest map. <laughs> All right, let me see if it actually shows fishing spots. I'm curious. There's a fishing spot right there. Not showing it. Does that mean I have to fish there first for it to do it? Let me see. What kind of bait do I need? Salt water? I just want to see if it pops up on my map. Come on. Come on. Go. Um. Not popping out. What am I doing wrong? Download new data bat. No harm is okay. Hold on. All this. All viruses. You're about to upload and merge your harvest set of map with the global database. Be logged out of ESO, otherwise merging the data won't work. God damn it! Really? Okay. All right. Let's try this. Let's try to see if this shit works. I'm logged out. Fuck more log out you need. All right, it's doing stuff now. Fishing in ESO, yep. <laughs> Just like I used to do in Arc Age. Bum bum bum. All right, so save new data file. Bum bum bum. Finished. Close this window. Press a key. All right, so it should have updated. Let's go check it out. It actually works. Fishing is kind of boring in this game, though. It's not as fun as Arc Age. Arc Age definitely had the most fun like fishing because it felt like PvP. PvP and the, the fish. <clears throat> Oi. 
I'll, I'll figure out the... <laughs> I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, Amy. Give me a second. Give me a second. Goes the pins. Oh shit. Whoa. The pins are everywhere. Holy shit. Look at this. All right. It works. All right. So I had to update the thing. That was, that's, that was my problem. Wow. Okay. So, oh shit. It even shows it visually. Okay. Hold on. not visually showing the, the guy just gathered it but it still shows the location is supposed to be there that's that's all right i don't i don't really like that it's showing that honestly like it looks it looks kind of ridiculous <laughs> my screen is just filled with colors everywhere but um let me let me figure this out yeah i'll shut up the 3d pins there we go oh it still shows it on the map though Right. Cool. It doesn't show the fishing spot though. Maybe did I mess something up? Uh, I don't know why it's not showing the fishing spot. But. Compass pins. Let me see what happens if I shut that off. Oh, cool. It doesn't show it on the compass anymore. All right. Yeah, because I don't really care for that. I, I mainly wanted to see it like this so I can see if I'm approaching one, you know? Oh, there goes a rubite ore. Let me go grab that shit. Damn, but this thing's a craft. I gather everywhere. I mean, I already had an idea about all this stuff, but yeah, like literally everywhere is just painted and stuff so i can filter this too so i don't need the compass pins now i gotta set harvest map map pins are on only spawned resources on the mini map. Oh shit. Pins on mini map. Display only spawn resources on mini map. Only nearby map pins. Actually, I'm gonna leave it alone. But that's awesome. Look, oh, you see only spawned. Oh shit. Yo, that's amazing. Okay, so there's a there's supposed to be a chest right there. Okay, let's let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Yo, this is this is good. Ah, uh, it's not there. There should be another. So I can literally run around and just get the. Do something. Can't really see it. Okay, there's supposed to be one right here. There it is. There's one. It's not perfect, but it's definitely really good. I mean, I already knew this one was here, but still, like, it's good. Like, that way you can understand. Oh, yeah, let me go get that chest. Badass. All right, this is perfect. This is perfect. Yeah, thanks for telling me about this, Amy. Yeah, because I, I, I didn't give it a chance, and I saw that I had to install it. That was the whole problem. That was why I couldn't see it. This is great. Oh, you see, as soon as I gathered it, it went away off my mini map. Actually, let me zoom in that mini map a little bit. It's a little too far now. My mini map thing. 
remember how to set it. Oh, right here, mini map. We'll put it to one. A little bit closer. Okay, that works. At least for this character, you know. My warden, I think I'd rather him have a farther one. Mainly for when I'm questing. The oh, when I jump on the mount, it actually zooms out. That's good. But when I'm on foot, I want it to be close. Oh, that's awesome. Like, I literally just look at the mini map. Wait, there's a, there's a chest over here. Oh, there's a chest over here. What the fuck? Yo, I've never seen this chest. Damn, this is great. Oh, man. Hat of Necro Pace. Look at that shit. Look at that. Worth $11,000, apparently, on the auction house. Bam. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is the good one. There's $11,000. You just made me $11,000, Amy. God damn. Look at this. Gather this. Gather this shit. Gather everything. There's supposed to be a chest right here. I've never seen a chest here. Not that I remember, at least. Harvesting node. Boom. Another harvesting node on this side. Oh, yep. Rubite ores. Oh, you know what? I wanted to see if I can filter it for only the, the rubidite. Whatever you call them. That way I can find... Like, I want to find a good farm spot for them. Because I know there was a good farm spot in, in the Thieves Guild land. But um, I want to see if I could filter it that way. Oh, this is fantastical. Look at this. Oh, this is great. You see, it disappears off the minimap when you're done. That's badass. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, cause uh, look. Let me let me look around in the settings. Harvest map. I wonder if there's a way to filter it per node. Respawn timer and farming node helper. Oh, they got respawn timers? I'd recently visited nodes. Pins will be hidden if you visit their loan. Okay. That's cool. There's a lot of options in this thing. Mushrooms. Oh, you can change the look of the icon. Heavy sack. Compass settings. This one, this one's different. This is if you want to see the actual pins and all this stuff. These are annoying. So these definitely shut off. The world tour thing. Can I search for a specific item? What I want to know. Doesn't say what this is. What is that supposed to be? I'm kind of curious now. Yeah, I'll get to the thing whenever I feel like it. <laughs> I usually wait until the boss spawns and then I'll go like tap them once and that's it. I'm not, I'm not too crazy about all this. Let me grab 
grab this one. Get out of here. Your vampire ass. Let me gather this. Will let me. There we go. <laughs> Over here picking flowers in the middle of the apocalypse. Crazy stuff going on in the background. My young Padwan, you are an they asshole. Know who go on his plan. You cannot stop it. May your soul burn. May your soul burn. How do you burn somebody's soul? Eh, crappy drops. See if that, that hard sack came back. Oh, there's the chest. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, this is great. This is great. Oh, Necro Pace again. Bomb, bomb, bomb. $10,000 right there. Blah. That's what I'm talking about. Getting these wins out here. Let me go get those chests back there in uh, the other side. Damn. Yo, this is great. Thieves throw, drove? What? Oh, those, um, that icon, that purple icon you're talking about? Where are you jogging off to? Get out of here. Try to cut my purse, will you? And yoink. <laughs> God, I got the mini map now. I don't have to actually physically look. Come on. Let me rob him. There. So right here. Oh, there's the thing. I want to check that out real quick. That purple icon. See what that is. It's supposed to be right here. It's like a purple icon. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Chest over there. It still shows the chest. But, um... I guess because it's kind of random whether or not it's going to be there or not. But this is... That's perfect. Because those chests... Um, I need to level up the, the whole, like, opening of chest on my warden. So that's great. I could practice. I'm gonna go get these chests over here. There's a bunch. Just not spawned yet. Yeah, I gotta I gotta check to see what that thing is. There we go, chest. That was a simple one. Intermediate. The master ones are the best. Get the master chest and get it. Awesome drops. There's two chests here? Oh no, never mind. I already got them both. And there's a lot of chests back here. Yo, this 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 thing is amazing. I'm definitely making a video about this thing. The 
There should be a chest right here. Yep, there it is. I mean, I already knew that, but <laughs> it looks better that it's actually on the map, you know? Oh, another ring of Neko Pace. Yo, you, you're blessing me today. Look at that. Suggested price, $16,000. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yo, this game is being too nice to me today. Being way too nice. Expert Wood Harvester. Oh, sorry. I wonder where it was. Then there's another chest back here. So seriously, like if all you wanted to do was just open chest all day, then you can totally just do this. Oh shit, what? First time I broke a pick in a while. Come on. There. Woof. That was close. Dark Sider helmet. Alright. About 4,000. Alright. And winds out here. Damn. Extra winator. What? Extra, extra winner -na nader. Oh, I, I can't say your name. Extra winner -na nader. What's up? Anyone remember that floating demon in the sunken ship in Oblivion? The the captain's quarters. Okay, I'm trying to remember that one. Oblivion, I really liked Oblivion a lot. I haven't played it in so many years that I honestly don't remember. I honestly don't remember. There was this uh this mission I did in this game that was pretty cool. That was like these uh this Quama farm in in uh, in the the warden place, and um, there was this basically a mystery between like the people that were in the mines like farming those uh, Quama stuff, and um, basically the Quama landed up killing their queen because of the sound waves that were going on, and then they were like humming the song like, duh, 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 duh. and then it goes. <laughs> like some some weird sound it, it actually was kind of creepy i was like oh shit this is cool and, and then uh, eventually you run to the point where you actually find what the cause is with all that and it was like the the clockwork robot people that were it was basically this this guy this clumsy guy landed up messing up the tone and then kind of blowing everything out of proportion just ruined everything but he didn't mean to it was like a clumsy thing so you have to go and fix the whole problem help him fix the problem at least it was cool like I, I thought it was a cool quest line that was like probably one of the coolest quest lines i've done so far there's not a whole lot of quest lines in this game that are like rememberable but that was definitely one of them that was pretty good i liked it oh here's another chest oh it's simple Get that real quick this one and he didn't see me oh come on bull on top of shit oh let me grab this one i respawn fast <laughs> clockwork crossing games yeah, I know. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they remind me of Clockwork, so that's why I gotta I gotta call them Clockwork. <laughs> Just like I, I call I call um, mana. I've always called mana end, like endurance. <laughs> Is that? Oh, I, I keep running out of end all the time. All my end runs out. You're not playing City of Heroes, you asshole. You're playing Elder Scrolls Online called mana you idiot
No, it's Magicka. Oh shit, I totally ruined that. Magicka. In Elder Scrolls. Nah, mana. Nah, mana. It's Magicka. So there, I already screwed up. I'm gonna check to see if all these chests are. Son of a bitch. I'm gonna stab your ass now for that. And I was gonna do it anyway, but. And... Ah. Mana. Call it mana. Blue item. Very nice. All right. So I, I think I, I don't even have to rob people anymore. This is not. This is not as as good as getting these chests like this this right here this is where you make money boom i mean the the the, the simple ones are not really worth much but the the master one you make some serious cash All right the thing never responds i don't know i'm gonna go check the the chest back there There's so many ways to make money in this game. That's what I like the most about this. It's just, it's, it's not just one way to make money. You can, you can do all sorts of different things. Besides dancing for money, you can't, I don't think you can do dancing for money. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Is there, there's dancing modes in this game, right? Somebody wanted to dance for money, um, Star Wars style, Star Wars Galaxy style. No chest here. No chest over here either. No heavy sack. These. Platinum is worth a lot. So pretty much if you never wanted to craft, then you can just grab these things and easily flip. Flip, 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 flip. I need to figure out how to do this shit in real life. I don't know. They they dance while waiting for the the golden vendors every Friday. <laughs> oh, you know uh, how do you how do you do the um the master writs the master rights or writs? Where do you go for that stuff? Because I I've been doing the regular writs. I don't know if I have to be a certain level for that, but um. I'm still leveling up my crafting anyway. And get out of here with that shit. With your mustache. Look at his mustache. Yeah, that porn star mustache going on. Look at him. Porn star mustache. Boom. Boom. Chest. Get that chest. Get that chest. Ah, oh, it's a simple flame. Bring him necropace. Necropotence. I could probably upgrade it to a purple. I'll see how much it costs to do that. might be worth it he's gonna spot me so I'm gonna leave that alone all right um 
Let's see, any more chests around this area? See, there's a ton in that inside that dune place. Let me let me go take a quick little sweep and then um, I'm probably gonna change characters. Oh, I don't know about Ritz. Hopefully you have an add-on for that too. No, I don't have an add-on for that. Is this a game in the future after Skyrim? I think it's in the past. Let me see. Yeah, because I was wondering that yesterday. When does it take place? The game is set on the content of Tamriel during the second era, but not in place. Places in Tamriel are playable. Not all places. Okay. So Elder Scrolls Skyrim around 800 years before the Elder Scrolls Morrowind and the Elder Scrolls Oblivion. So 800 years before Morrowind. A millennium before the uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim. Millennium is what, a thousand years? So yeah, that's a long ass time. So this is prior to everything. Which Skyrim is supposed to be coming out next month in this game. Oh, there's a chest. So, advanced chest. Oh, breaches of necro pace. Boom, boom, boom. All right, let's see if I can find something. Actually, here goes another one. Simple chest. Ah, aim. Lame simple chesses. Actually, I keep getting on my horse for no reason. I'm trying to get these chests. So this is gonna be the priority. Get the chest first. Always get the chest. Necropace. Oh shit. Yo, I'm getting all the loot. Yo, this is how you make money. This is it. How you make mad cash in the stacks. Here's another one. This is simple chest. Crap. Let's go get the other one over here on this side. So if you don't want to gather, you can literally just do that. Ah, the chest is not here. Right, any more chests? There's one more in the back. You go back there. Simple. Alright, another necropace ring. Oh man, I gotta go get I gotta go to the warden land. I gotta get some of the war maiden set. Gotta get some of that shit. Alright, let me gather everything on the way out. There's no heavy sack. Nope. Alright, let's go back. This is pretty damn amazing. how you make that cash for real there's the chest oh shit that's ah, simple simple or crap like it always drops crap at the most you'll probably get a ring or something but usually crap gather this wood over here chest is gone I'm sure
Very nice. Alright, that's the way I'm going to sweep it from now on. Okay, there should be a thing to gather right here. Oh, here it is. Oh, shit, it's in the sky and shit. Like, <laughs> up. Alright, cool. Be one right here. Yep. All right, very nice. All right, I'm gonna just go throw the things in a bank and sell stuff and all that, and then I'm gonna get on the warden, sell all these things on the auction house, make that cash. Oh, charge it. But it warned me. Make that cash. Let's make that cash. Make that, make that, make that cash. I owe $23. I'm going to evade the law for $23. I'm not paying that shit. I'm not paying that bounty. Screw that shit. I'm not paying those tickets. Imagine that in real life. Like, if you just don't pay your tickets for a long time, it just, like, goes away and they just forget about it. That would be nice. Well, I guess it works like that with credit. If you buy something, it's usually about seven years before it wipes off your credit. So that kind of happens in real life. But I'm sure, there's a consequence to that. If it weren't for my. Sell these. I'll sell these too, because fuck it. Everything else, I'll keep. So all that stuff I'm gonna break apart using my warden. Warden's gonna be the crafter guy. I don't deal. I don't deal, bitches. This launder stuff I wanna keep. There we go. This. What else? No crafting material? Wow. Alright, so everything is going to be sold now. Perfect. Alright. Item sold completely full. Alright. I got a couple things to sell tomorrow. Let me go to the bank. Deposit everything. Ariel. Damn, I made $20,000? Shit, I wasn't even trying and I made twenty thousand dollars. That's crazy. The so deposit. I'll filter it. I'm so glad this it gives you so much space now in the in the, in the bank. Consumables. Yeah. Recipe. Treasure map. Perfect. Yes. All right. So let me get, let me get on the the warden. Yo, Marcus. What's up, man? Ah. Yeah, I'm over here making that cash. Making that cash. Thanks for Amy. Thanks to Amy for this because she pretty much got me into the right right direction here. So we got um I got that add-on for the seeing things on the map. So I can easily find all the things I want. So like <laughs> the treasure chest, like that is absolutely amazing. So I could be able to just kind of run around and find treasure chests. I'm gonna do that from now on on the warden. It's gonna open treasure chests all day. That's it. I'm not really gonna gather as much unless I find the ores that I'm looking for. Right. I need to design my costume too. Like, I've literally been using this, this design, this uh, disguise. <laughs> this disguise has like become like my look now. You see, look, the servant. It's it's called a servant's outfit. But look how cool it looks. How, how is that? A, if that if that's a servant, then damn, I want to be a servant because he looks badass. 
Like, why, why would you... I don't know. That looks too cool for me. But... <laughs> Oh, look at the map already. Oh, shit. All right, I got to see what these these purple ones are. I don't know what those things are. There's Look at the chest all over the place. Look at the chest. All right, we got to open chest all day. So I'm going to explore my ass off. Right, I already grabbed this guy's quest, so let me go up here. But while we're questing, I'm going to go around trying to get every single chest I can find. I'm gonna rob this guy clean. We take all this shit. I'll play in first person view. Rob him clean. Take these things. Thank you. A drink? I'll take that drink. I'll drink that shit right now. Yeah, drink to that. Mmm. Read your books too. I'll read all your books. <laughs> I was like, you know, when um, I remember back in the day when we had to buy like gaming guides and stuff, you know, before the internet was like huge. Uh, I used to go to the gaming stores and I would I would go to the magazine section. And I'll try real hard to like go to the page I need to find to to see like the guide to see like all the cheats and stuff just so I can see the cheats real quick and then try to memorize the cheats so that I don't have to buy the guide because the guides were like expensive they were like $20 a, a, a book like each book is like $20 $40 expensive so um to avoid that I used to try to memorize it and then I'll run home to go do the cheat <laughs> I know that's ghetto as fuck but Where's the, ah, uh, there's no, there's no, um, heavy sack on this side. There's a chest over here though, supposedly. Let's see. Oh yeah, there is, there it is. Get this chest. Simple, lame. I gotta level up the thieves guild also. I gotta get skill points extremely bad. Where's my ledgerman at? Five. Yeah, I really need to get skill points. I have a lot of crafting things I wanna get. Where's that hireling? I wanna go get that as well. There's blacksmith. Is the hireling only on Oh, here it is. Lumberjack hireling. Oh, there's a hireling for each one. Yeah. I gotta go pick those up. It, I need skill points real bad. So I'm gonna have to do some hunting. Oh, gotta gather. Gotta gather them all. Last one of those I bought was Daggerfall of Elder Scrolls. Damn, I never even played that one. The first Elder Scrolls game that I tried to get into was Morrowind. And the thing I hated the most about it was that, you know, it was that chance to miss and stuff. Like it had like the old school, like RPG elements. I hated that because it was like a first person game like this. But like you try to shoot a target and it doesn't hit it, you know? And it was always like, it was like, miss, miss, miss. And I'm like, yo, I'm shooting directly in his face. What the fuck? So that, that game pissed me off. Even though I really liked the world, the biggest thing that I loved was this, the water graphics. <laughs> I remember getting it on, um, I got it on the Xbox and I was staring at the water. I'm like, oh my God, the water, look how amazing the water graphics. Like, I, like, I, don't, I don't even remember what it looks like. Let me see. I'm sure it looks like crap now, but oh, um, moral wind. <laughs> I'm sure it looks like total shit now. Oh my God, the graphics. Look at it. Like boxes. 
Wait, I want to see, I want to see like a quick little gameplay video. The trailer. Oh shit, old school trailer. Oh shit. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, look at that. Can I put the quality up? Damn, 480p is the highest? Damn. Look at the graphics. I was so amazed by this game. This game was like the game for graphics. Look at the water graphics. Look at it. You see that? That was like, for me, the most impressive thing. I was like, look at the drops hitting the water. I was freaking the fuck out. But <laughs> like the, it didn't really age well at all. But um, yeah, the water graphics was always my thing after that. Like, I always... Every time I play a game, it's like, but the, is the water graphics good? Tell me. Water graphics isn't good, I'm not playing it. <laughs> All about the water graphics. Ooh, Rubite. Oh yeah, give me that. Let me see if there's a heavy sack over here. Yeah, heavy sack. Get that heavy sack. You know, heavy sack. Oh, there's a chest over here. Gotta grab it. Oh, it's a bad guy. I don't give a shit. Follow me. And the best thing about kind of touring like this and seeing if you could find chests is that uh, most of the time people don't really quest that much they're too busy trying to do other things in the game oh i still don't understand what that that purple thing is i'm i'm literally on top of it so i don't know unless it's on the roof oh there's the chest it's over here on this side probably inside the house Oh, somebody follow me. Heavy sack. Chest. Maybe it's a little bit higher up. See if we could beat beat this guy to it. Oh, it's not a chest. This is a fucking door. Trivial. This. It counted as a chest. Door. My husband loves the storyline and questing. He's not human. <laughs> what, in this game? I think the storyline is decent sometimes in this game. Not bad. My favorite by far, like always in the whole entire Elder Scrolls series, was uh, Dark Brotherhood in Oblivion. That was amazing. Like for me, I, I could never get over it. Skyrim did not do it justice at all. Like, it was not the same. But in Oblivion, like, it's just the feeling I got when I first encountered the Dark Brotherhood. I was like, holy shit. This is amazing. It's probably dated as fuck right now, but I just remember the feeling I had. Like, especially... I remember how I got it. I was, like, in a dungeon, and um, there was, like, this innocent guy... And uh, there was like a bunch of thieves everywhere. There was thieves all over the place. So I, I, I was accustomed to like killing these thieves. It was an innocent person, like a homeless guy or something, um, kind of like laying in his bed. And I killed him. I thought he was a thief. So I, I killed him. And then it said, you killed an innocent person. I was like, oh, shit. So 
I don't know why I I I kind of I wanted to I wanted to take a nap because I wanted the buff, so I slept in his bed. <laughs> I don't know I don't know why I would murder him and then sleep in his bed, but whatever. So I slept in his bed, and then I woke up to the guy standing in front of me saying uh, like you murdered an innocent person. You want to join the Dark Brotherhood? That, that shit was creepy as fuck with the way he came out. I was like, holy shit, yo, this is amazing. And then it went into the whole story arc of like, you know, going out and murdering people. And it was awesome. Like, I, I really, really love that. Dark Brotherhood wasn't nearly as good in this game as it was like, like, I don't know. Like, it, it just, it will never be the same. Like that feeling that I got. Especially since I didn't know what the Dark Brotherhood was, it just, it made it that much more interesting. You know, I didn't do any research in that game at all. I just played it, you know, so when something happened, it was just, it was a surprise. And that's, that's what I love about single player games. I don't like to do any research at all. I don't like to do any studying, no guides, nothing. I just play it, figure it out. And that's it. That's why, you know, like, Sometimes I've done I've done video reviews of single player games and uh, I'll get a lot of hate towards like, oh, well, you should have did your research. You should have did this and blah. And it's like I, I do a lot of my reviews based on on a casual player's um, perspective. You know what I mean? Like if you're a casual player, you're not going to go online and Google how to do this, how to do that, how to do like most gamers don't do that shit. They just play the game and figure it out. So if a game doesn't make it easy to understand things, then they're not going to do it. They're either not going to do it or they're not going to enjoy the game because, you know, certain aspects are just not clearly visible. You know, they're all oh, there goes that that chest in a game like this, though, it's different. Doing research is like a part of the game, but at the same time, you shouldn't have to Google every single thing in the whole entire game, you know, and that's that's where Arc Age fucked up. And um, and that's where, like, some of the old school games like, I mean, I, I think of Arc Age. That's the most recent in my mind. That was that was one that I had to do a ton of research. I was like always on Google all the time. Like that's that's sickening. That's not how you enjoy a video game. You're, you're, you got to remember you're playing a video game. You're not playing like a simulator of life, you know, and some some people take it way too serious. So God forbid you just want to play the game, you know, as is. See, I guess I'll go over here and check out that chest over there. I do need to quest. There's a quest that I'm on. Oh, this one. Everybody went there. That chest is not working. I'll go check this one over here. <laughs> Let me go check this chest. Wait. One. I check. Can't live without checking the chest. I forgot. I can go first person in the on my mount. That's an add-on too. See. We first person mounts. Oh, I gotta get that rubites. Oops, do that. Chest? All oh, chest. Oh! Murder that. A pin. Whoa, amazing things. Amazing things dropped. So we got oof, eight thousand dollars for this thing, pretty much. Damn. Du -du 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 Damn. See? Oh, opening chest is the way to go. Want to make some serious money without having to be a crafter? Boom. And actually, you don't even have to be a crafter in this game. You can gather the things, and then just flip it. Oh, it's nice. I'm trying to attempt to craft because I've never crafted an MMO before. I always find it too tedious. But 
I'm attempting this time. Try. Roots. See what that purple thing is over there. Maybe it will show me. What my brother say? <sighs> Got into a Valerian beta finally. <laughs> so he's playing Valerian, my brother. He's more into those competitive type games, so he would um he would probably enjoy it. Ah, oh, the thieves throw throw things. Ah, that's what that shit. I was wondering. Okay, I forgot all about that. Everything. Uh, where are we going? Right, we were trying to go over here. I got sidetracked. Wait, the chest over there. Hold on. I'm coming, chest. On my way. Coming to rescue you. Yeah. It's in this mine. Mining in a mine. Don't see the chest though. Just reset. You know you want to reset, asshole. Okay. The back here, or is this a door? I don't know. I guess it's supposed to be right here, but it's not. So, but it must have took it pretty recently. I have a proposition do I have for you. Room in my end. Yep, I do. Okay, I can grab his quest. So I was right. You're a sword for hire. Excellent. GG, welcome my back. Name is Marla Reithen of House Lalu, and I have a proposition. Welcome back, Nicholas. What's up? I need someone to investigate what's going on in the Vasia Didanat Ebony. Oh, you're getting uh, new tires? You use you use your truck for Uber? What's the problem? Piqued your interest, have I? Capital. I wasn't really paying attention. My brother Benar and I share ownership of the mine, but I suspect he's hiding something from me. The little what do you reasons, want me to do? There are only two keys to the mine. Benar keeps one in our manor house. The other is carried by the mine's foreman, Knox. I want you to procure a key, either one, and then search the mine for any sign of mischief. Report back with your findings. All right. Foreman Knox is some. Okay, uh, he wants me to go over here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, am I supposed to speak to somebody? Put my bear in your face. Where am I going? Obtain the the key. What by robbing it from him? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Have we met? I don't remember. Blood from I don't understand. Oh, there's a chest over there. Oh, it's on the outside. Outside. Yeah. 
My Nissan is down, so I have to use my Explorer. Ah. I just found a whole list of... A hit? What? It needs to be done. What? What? What's a, a hit? <laughs> shit? You meant shit? A list of a hit. It's supposed to be right here, probably. And up top. Oh, hello. I want to fight you. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing right here. Don't get it. You're always in the way. Oh, I'm supposed to rob him? Let me wait for this guard to move. I guess I'm supposed to take the key from him. What the fuck? You follow me over here? Christ. What is he doing? He's like fighting the wind now. Look. What are you trying to do? Look. Okay, whatever. Let me see if I can rob him. Oh yeah, he's he's got the same idea. Alright, I got the key. Get out of here. Before these guards realize what I did. Okay, um, Going okay, I gotta go over there. Okay, shit. You meant to say shit. Okay, got it. Please, can I have a catch up? Oof, catch up. Damn. Well, there's a lot that happened. I mean, I've been opening chests, robbing people. Now I'm doing missions. I don't know. <laughs> Rewatch the stream because in the beginning I explained a lot of what I was doing. But it was mainly, mainly just making monies. <laughs> Pudgy fingers and small keys. That's me too. Let's see if that chest is going to be there. Excuse me, sir. I'll run right past you. Let me see if that chest is up here. Yeah. No chest. Excuse me. Ah, come on. Oh, you better reset. Really? What the hell are you shooting at? Here with that. I'm gonna go get some breakfast pretty soon or lunch, whatever time it is. I guess it's 12. Time. Oh shit, it's one o'clock. Whoa. Time flies when you're having fun stealing and making money. Damn. Let anyone else see this note? Not even our comrades. But then you just leave it open and you leave it on the ground for anyone to see. That's been in death. You're an asshole. <laughs> you didn't fulfill your promise. Go down? The elevator. Guess not. There's nothing of value in this mine. I can't. Oh, it's like point. The zombie. Oh, oh, I thought that was a heavy sack. Yeah. 
Dude, this poisonous gas killed all these people. And how am I able to go through the poisonous gas and not die? Why is my character so special? Like, I would like to see an MMO or like an RPG game that makes it so that, you know, you feel like a real person that can get your ass whooped. I think probably the only one that got close to that concept was that, uh, that one game that was like that King Arthur game. I forgot the name of it. Oh, Kingdom Come. The Kingdom Come game. That was like the closest one to making you feel like a weakling that becomes like, you know, a great warrior. But you have to actually like earn your skills, basically. Not easy. Nice. And they are like sacrificing people. Let me put it to see if I could put the field of view a little higher because it seems kind of low. Up the field. Put it wider. Camera. Oh, here we go. Feel the view changes. Oh, it's on max. Yeah, it's already on max. It feels kind of, I don't know why it doesn't feel very wide to me. Terrible mistake in coming here. Do you feel it yet? The cold rush through your veins, the stiffness in your joints. Only a matter of time now. Only a matter of time. Going on here. <laughs> you really haven't figured it out. You're denser than those stone fiends. Master Reethan brought me on to study a Daedric text. A formula for turning living flesh into a substance akin to ebony. Not a perfect match, but close enough. And you're losing control of it? Something like that. But what does it matter? I'll be frozen solid soon. Black as midnight. A commodity. Nothing more. <laughs> Ironic. You mean to rob me, I suppose. The scrolls just there have a care with it. Wealth always comes at a price. Take your drink. <laughs> what else am I take? Roll. Oh, 
those books are always worth looking into when you see bookcases like that you can earn skill points i'm already pretty maxed out so the chances of me finding something is rare but pretty much just opening it up like this and, and walking away is enough for it to proc the thing and give you a skill point good to know that at least in uh early game stuff when you're leveling up uh two Oh, okay, I got five minutes left on my food. Let me eat another. I don't drink that thing that I just stole from him. Paintings. Oh, I gotta go to the bank and grab all the stuff out. Oh, there's an alternate exit. So the elevator does work. Not like I hoped. I was hoping to visually see it go up and down, but that chest again yeah I don't know about that chest I guess didn't have a good enough spawn rate back there up top It doesn't look like it. Oh well, no chest. Where are we going? We're down here. Yeah. Ah, I'm glad to see you made it back in one piece. So, what have you learned? Anything? Alchemist name Darvos was turning miners into some kind of false embody uh, ebony. Ebony. What? Well, that sounds ghastly. To think that my own brother would be capable of such a thing. We must move quickly. Did you find any evidence? I'll need something concrete if I'm to convince the Hlalu trade barons to intercede. This is a Daedric formula. Garvos was using. Well done. I have a final task for you, if you're willing. I must take this to the Trade Baron, Councillor Riveth. He's staying at the Balmora Inn. Alas, Benna has many contacts in town. If he hears that I'm meeting Riveth, he may try to flee. All right. What want me to do? Travel to the Rethan Manor House and detain Benna. Once I've explained manners to Riveth, I'll send Hlalu constables to collect my brother. After this, I'll ask nothing more of you. You have my word. Where's that at? Oh, it's this way. Let's see if that heavy sack is there. Ooh, and there's a chest. Alright, let me run for that. Chest in a heavy sack. That chest in a heavy sack.
Go straight for the chest. Oh, there it is. I really, really need to get skill points. I'm gonna do that after this quest. There's a chest in here. Yeah. Move now. I need healing. Into the chopper. To the chopper. Why did my minimap go away? Oh, don't combat. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna change that to have the minimap always stay open. Where is it at? Minimap. Go in combat. Go at a siege. Now it's always going to show. Drop the lightning staff. Alright, I really gotta turn this quest in and get out of here. Go hunt some skill points. My weapon broke. Standing on it, buddy. Yeah, I would have never known that that was there if I didn't have this add on. Oh, there's a treasure, deep Trevor treasure thing. On.
Look at this. Maybe it's a rubite. There's a trove. Okay, where was I going? What was the objective here? I was going down there. Hello. Ah, the last piece of the puzzle. Time to tie up loose ends. Oh, you mean you? to town. Yeah. <laughs> I hear uh, I hear Becca singing in uh, sync or Backstreet Boys rather. Malarithan. What a sweat. I'm going to need a stiffer drink. Stiffer drink? You don't appear to be holding my drink, so I'm sure I have no interest in you. Off with you. Okay, I'll leave. I am. Young Malar and I were talking about the sudden success of his mining enterprise, built on some irregularities. What I would have done is I would have left, and then I would have robbed them dry. Any of your business. Who are you? Why are you meddling in Flalu business? I doubt Metalar gave you a true account. I found these orders on an assassin sent to kill me. My, my. This is damning. Dear Mala tried to hang this whole business around his brother's neck. And yours. A prudent, albeit sloppy affair. House Flalu can ill afford such a scandal and I hate to be lied to. Kill Mala and I will reward you. I won't make any promises, but... Why do you want him taken alive? What would I do with him? Chain him to a post? His life no longer serves Oh, why oh, would you want to? I, don't expect I read that wrong to completely, of course. To be done. Honestly, I doubt he'll give you a choice in the matter. Where can I find him? His city residence, I expect, just across the river. Do be quick about this. I'm anxious to be done with a brother's wreath on. Where are we going? Other side. Yeah. Ooh, there's a chest. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You gotta check for these chests. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Advanced. Damn, it's all down. First time I've seen it like that. Ooh, what's that? Warrior's Pauldron. Ah, it's a crap. Well, I, I I'll look it up to see if it's worth anything. Won't count it out completely yet. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not.
Ah. Oh, hello. You! How did you... Ah, I'll finish this myself. Will you now? Drop the purple shield. I think what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna go in the auction house and and check to see what's the cheapest purple items for me to break apart. I think that's probably what people do to upgrade their crafts. I'm sure there's a lot of people kind of just selling it for like a hundred coin, two hundred coin. I mean, I, I could always just find it, but again, make it easier on myself. I could stack stockpile. craft quietly now is it finished yep he's dead well then this unfortunate little tale comes to an end i've already dispatched some of my best agents to clean up Rethan manor we'll tend to marla's apartment and the mine next well done now what of this mysterious scroll yep here it is excellent best hand it over to me Something so dangerous should not fall into the wrong hands. House Flalu can keep it safe, or destroy it if we deem it necessary. This will earn you some favor with our house. I'll even double your pay. Okay. What do you want? No one should have this to scroll, destroy the scroll or take it. What did he say? I wasn't really paying attention. I'll, I'll give it over. You've proven to be a reliable assistant. How Slalu values reliability. I would say it's been a pleasure, but this whole affair has left me with quite a headache. Still, I may call upon you again in the future. Here, double pay as promised. Okay. Yeah, a bunch of shit. Alright, so now... I'm gonna go Sky Shard hunting. There's a few places I haven't been... Uh, actually, a lot of places. There's the DLC spots. There's, um... What else? Yeah, like a ton of DLCs. There's Cold Harbor. I haven't been to on this character. Yeah, it's just a lot. So I'm gonna go Sky Shard hunting. Get as, get as much skill points as I can so I can get all the passives for crafting. Let's start at Cold Harbor. Why not? What else is over here? One Sky Shard right here. Ooh. How do we get to that island? No. Gotta figure that out. Clockwork City? It's Clockwork City also. Alright, you know what? Let's let's check out Clockwork City. I've never been there. I'm gonna fix up something to eat in a little bit. Getting hungry. Greetings, Sarah. A moment, if you please. Honor to you and your house, Sarah. Oh, my lord, do they fear would speak with you at once? Actually, no. I don't want to take your quest yet. Not ready. I'm already full on on quest. I don't want to take any more. Let me get the sky shards and I'm gonna get chest out here too. We're farming. Probably below. Yeah. 
Be lower. Let me get the sky shards first. Like, I don't want to get carried away. There's a sky shard down south. Got that. Shard. That's down there. Off? That's the first time I've seen that. Chest up there. Get up top. Yep, there we go. Nice, and that was a nice drop right there. I'm gonna grab this one over here on this side. Make my way that way. Oh, there's a pro. Why am I having so much fun with this? I'm having so much fun gathering shit. <laughs> I never thought I would see the day getting old. Treasure, treasure chest. treasure.
was a bunch of shit down. Let me make sure I don't have to be up here for the. Treasure chest would have been up there. On this side. Did they just come from here? Yeah, I did. Right. Dungeon. It's getting kind of cold in here. Let me put the air up. Glad you could finally, finally shut off the air today. <clears throat> it's been scorching hot every single day. Like, truly summertime now. When a clockwork apostle discovers an unexplainable clockwork, phenomenon, you see? it can be a moment of unbounded joy or utter terror. That strange portal of heroes. definitely falls into the second category. So terrifying about it, uh, terrifying about a portal. Portals aren't a common occurrence in the clockwork city. When I, I son of a let bitch, Maria go in there alone. He hit me just to reset. I need to make sure no one else wanders into the portal. All right. Step into the portal.
Let me go make a, a quick little Eda thing. I'll be right back.
Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is what I made. A little pita thing with cheese, bacon, some, uh, some lettuce with ranch on it. With some orange juice. Very simple. Took two seconds. I'm gonna munch on this. I had my first one yesterday and really, really loved it. So, why not? I put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Just to let it warm up a bit. I'm not picky. I'm a dude. I don't overmake things. I just eat <laughs> to survive. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty easily impressed when it comes to food. Very good. Very, very, very good. Satisfied. All right, let's do it. The big map, and there's a lot of treasure chests in here. Be good.
mostly ghost place. Another one. I imagine like if ghosts would re were real, you probably cannot shoot it with an arrow or traditional weapons. So I don't understand why that's okay in a game like this. You would think that you have to have like some kind of magical arrow or some kind of, I don't know, or at least have some, somebody do some magical ward thing on your weapon. supposed to be a chest here but there isn't there's a lot of this 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 delve is actually pretty popular so i imagine that they were probably all taken Look at these exoplasms oh it sells for gold it's actually not bad I mean, if there's a lot of them like this, probably farmable. And again, it's probably not very efficient because that's not a whole lot of money. close live wire See what that is the new set healing taken max health healing taken when you take damage you have a 25 percent chance to overload your circuits applying concussion to enemies within eight meters and healing for each enemy hit all right this actually sounds pretty cool not a bad set. Run 
going straight for the. Oh. The skill point is over here. And a chest. Let me grab that chest first. the only way in here by the way yeah there's nothing else here going on thank you Interrupt my vigil. What nonsense impels you to such a rash and impetuous action? Vigil? Why are you guarding this field? You dare question the sacred duty that has been placed before me? I'll have you know I'm a. I'm a. What am I doing here? What is this place? Hoping you could tell me. I remember coming to the Clockwork City when a teleportation ritual went awry. I was looking for a way out when I noticed a strange portal appear in the radius. It... it called to me. Next thing I know, I'm standing guard over this empty field. Remember anything else? I remember that you interrupted my vigil. If my attention wavers for even a moment, those crows will take advantage and strip this field to the ground. Leave me! There are secrets in the dark and the night is here! It 
feels like I've been protecting this field for hundreds of years. But I'm certain I just entered this realm a day or so ago. Do you remember how you got here? What an odd question. I spotted a portal that should not have been there, and I entered it to see where it led. I determined that this shadow cleft is part of the Everglow. How I wound up trapped in a scarecrow, well, that's still somewhat hazy. What's an Everglow? You've never heard of the Everglow? It's the Oblivion Realm that belongs to Nocturnal, the Night Mistress. I'm sure this shadow cleft represents some sort of attack on the Clockwork City. But there's only so much I can determine in my current state. Is there anything I can do? I see you have one of our perception tabulators. Continue your investigation and make sure that device gets into the hands of a clockwork apostle. Be careful. If you end up infused with a scarecrow, then everything you learn will be lost. turns in my favor for a change. You have a perception tabulator. Did Adjunct Daro send you to find me? Of course he did. Listen carefully, and there might still be time to realign this befouled contraption. You're dead. How can you be talking to me? <laughs> Wait. My character was literally talking to the other ones. Maybe I did it out of order, but why would I ask that question? That should be the least of your concerns. If you don't do exactly what I tell you, you'll end up like me. Then who will protect the Clockwork City from this oblivion infestation? You need to destroy the Shadow Array. Shadow Array? Some foul device that Night Sister Chimera uses to lure people into the Shadow Cleft and bind them to these scarecrows. If you can destroy it, we'll be set free. Without the Shadow Array, Nocturnal's plans will be set back or even foiled completely. Who's Nocturnal? Not so loud. Nocturnal has ears everywhere. She's one of the Daedric Princes. They aren't supposed to be able to breach the Clockwork City's defenses, but nothing works properly anymore. Hurry! You must destroy the Shadow Array! Okay. Shadow Array. See if I can find some chests. Maybe inside that house. Guess that would be a ch I think he's looking for chess too. Look, this guy sprinting around. No, he's not. on it.
bad. Sexy woman from the dark side. The underworld. Ah. You did well. Now return to the Clockwork City and let Daro know what you learned. Nice. What'd he be? Oh, he's directly right outside. See if any of the other chests respawn. We'll see if the other ones respawn. I guess the respawn time is probably about five to ten minutes. Oh, I leveled up. They all respawned. Probably staying here all day, just getting chest. <laughs> just do circle, circle, circle. Chest. Up there in the house. Go up! What the fuck is this? chest and I can do this all day just get treasure chest and that's it this is probably 
worth more money than than actually stealing and stealing is limited per day you can only you can only uh sell 140 items but with this you can keep going and going and going and going no chest i'm gonna Very good. Very good, very good. You returned. I must admit, I wasn't sure you'd be able to do that. Do you have the perception tabulator? And what of Acolyte Varia? Were you able to locate her in there? Varia died, but... I destroyed the Shadow Array and freed her soul. Dead? Shadow Array? I, I suppose the Perception Tabulator will explain everything. I'll study it right away. In the meantime, take this. A little something for helping the Clockwork Apostles today. Apostles. Right. Get back to getting those Sky Shards. Let me see if there is if the chest is here. Unless it's up top. I don't see anything. Here. Another one I missed on this. Oh, it's up top. Oh, and there's a quest. Nah, I don't want to fight. Changed my mind. get up there are your brother shit yeah yeah are your brothers it's hard to do mario brothers in this game you always got to get a little bit of speed otherwise you won't move at all pretty much I guess if it would be anywhere, it would be right here, so. Two bites. Alright, where's... Guy shards in this area? I'm gonna go back. Let me just get the, the view. Ooh, there's two trucks. Like this. There's one. It would be on that roof.
Oh, down there. Oh, come on, get out of the way. <laughs> My bear likes to get in the way sometimes. I didn't discover it yet. Let me go up in there. Oh, that's new. This is like the best add-on ever. Seriously. The best. Absolute best add-on. I'm definitely making a video on this. in here supposed to be a lot of them in here so somebody running out so I probably looted everything I think he looted everything I explore anyway sack something yep best everything here uh. 
says there might be a heavy sack over there, but pretty sure I already looked at it. That's a die from fall damage. Oh yeah. All right, where to next? So, go to this guy shard up here. I'll get this way shrine. Let's just run straight for it. I'm going to stop sidetracking. I mean, if I find a rubite or thing, then I'll grab that. I'm not going to grab anything else. I'll leave that alone. Oh, lights. Get another one in the distance. Yeah. Oh, treasure chest. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Can't resist. Temptation. Don't see any. Here, no. Oh, how am I getting my ass whooped? Got my ass whooped. Oh, there's a treasure chest right there. Fuck. Right in my face. The treasure chest straight ahead. To get up top, we need to get out of here. Transitioning to detection state 12. Stand by. Temperature variance detected. Documenting. Oh, I guess those things are heavy stuff. Essentially. For this zone.
Two sky shards back here. Nice, got some hot pick. The fundament. in here apparently brown the sub bow master bow master nice two bites Get this treasure chest over here on this side. I can't go in. I think there's like a lower floor and that's why it keeps showing that I have I have materials I can gather but I'm letting me get them test over here It's like a lower floor. I want to check to see is the guy shard on the lower floor or not. No, it's right here. Oh, it is on the lower floor. Come on now. Permanently immobilized. Shooting me through the wall. Magica. Kill point, yay. All right, let me get Blacksmithing. Damn, I can get everything. Good. I really need skill points desperately. No fitter hireling. Let's get the blacksmith one. I gotta. I really gotta get sky shards. I'm gonna focus on that. Compl Shard, sky shard, sky shard.
style. Oh, I already know that style. There's a chest. Random thieves. How to get across that? My sister has a knack. actually work. Don't give up on me yet, Kara. I think I'm getting close. Uh, friend. This I didn't always like live. Steeped in rusty nuts. Maybe we should just stick to deposit everything. Got a lot of things fell and break apart. for a little I'm gonna save it about digging up some treasures So let's get out of here. Go back. Oh shit, this is a new zone. Hold up. Hey, let's go out here. I want to see what this is. Looks like a new zone. Last fortress.
Damn, I've been at it for four hours almost. It's found a new zone. I'll probably actually sell things here. Want to help Slag Town become a little more enchanting? Hmm? Capable combatants needed for hazardous work. Please respond for more information. Well, I, I can't really flip things in this area. Let me look around because there's a sky shard in this. It's inside. Kind of reminds me of Fallout. Get over there. Engine on this side. Let me check to see that treasure chat. Here we go. Yeah, I don't understand where that sky shard is. On the lip of the sky bridge.
Flip of the sky bridge. Fuck do you get on a lip? Yeah. Oh. oh no, never mind. Got excited. Where this is supposed to be. Oh, it's up there. What do you get up there? Yeah. Has to be a way around. What the fuck? Get up there. About to Google this. I'm supposed to get up there. A bridge up there. Ow. Some door or something that I haven't found. How do I get on the sky bridge? Alright, let me Google it. So... What's that thing? It says on the sky bridge, right? 
Clockwork City Sky Shard Hunter. I <laughs> like that. Oh, they're trying real hard to kill me, and they can. On the lip of the... See, look, the first Google thing. On the lip of the sky bridge. Okay. Maybe there's pictures or something. Sky bridge entrance. Right there. All right, so I, I know what that is. I remember. That is. Oh, everybody died. Good job, buddy. It's all you. Bridge and in progress. Oh, cool. Okay. This zone is pretty limited. There's not really a whole lot in here. Be around here somewhere. I was showing the picture. It looked familiar in the picture, but I don't know now. Oh, maybe it's up there. Could be it. I want to check for loot over here. Real quick. Yep, one one of those. All right. Clear it up. Oh, that's where the... Where the raid is. I don't want to go there. You know what? Fuck this. There's a video. There's always a video. See? Somebody made a video. They always have to have an intro. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Today I'm going to show you how to do this. But first, I got to tell you about my, my day. Everything that happened today. Yeah, I was in that area. I think I'm in that area currently. Looks familiar. Yeah, by the dungeon. Directly across from the dungeon. All right, got it. All I need to see was right over here. Found it. Thank you, video.
I'm probably gonna go do a respec of my build. Fix a few things. Minor adjustment. At least to my morphing, my skill points. That way I can maximize my skill points. Having crafting now. I probably have a lot of passives that I don't need. Like, let's say, for example... Mage's Guild. Oh, okay. I'm good with Mage's Guild. Feels good. I still use these. Actually, my build is looking pretty decent. Can't complain. Yeah, I can't complain. It's all stuff I actually need. Actually... Yeah, I could fix it, because look, I could get rid of medium armor and light armor. That's a lot of skill points. Because I only use heavy right now, and I'm probably not going to change my gear sets anytime soon. So. Two-handed. One-handed. Dual-wielding. Oh. I mostly use bow and dual wielding. I might switch some things up. The one handed, I don't use low slash. So I can get rid of that and get a skill point. I'll still pick up everything though. Two handed, I like to play every once in a while. Brawlers, whatever. I get, I'll get rid of that. And, um, yeah. Okay. What else don't I use here? I don't use growing uh, swarm. I could get rid of that. It is a nice DLT, but whatever. Bull net I'll definitely get rid of. Dive, I'll get rid of that. Get rid of subterranean assault. Falcon thing, I'll get rid of that. Yeah, I can save a lot of points here. Vines, I don't use that. I'll get rid of that. Uh, healing seed is garbage. Looting spore is good. Growing lotus is good. What else? Ice fortress. I could probably keep that from my tank build. Crystallized shield. What does this do again? From protect projectiles. Eh, I don't use that. I'll get rid of it. It's nice on my other build, though, my Ice Warden. All right, I'm gonna go do a respec. Get rid of some of this, clean it up. Go. Go respec. Go to, go to respec. I haven't played this in such a long time, I forgot all my usual things that I would do. Oh, I think it's here. Yeah, Mournhold. Yep. Uh, there. I like Mournhold, it's probably my favorite. This isn't my favorite zone. I don't remember this place.
Oh, you can change the morphs only? Oh, that's a good... Wow. I think... I don't think they had that before. Oh, that's awesome. What else? Attributes. This one is... So eleven thousand dollars. Do I even have that much money? Oh yeah, I do. Damn, that shit is expensive. All right, skills. Do it all. Oh, you can modify. Oh, that's sick. Oh shit, y'all, this is different. Before it used to be a full clean wipe. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh man, they made nice changes. I'll keep Ice Fortress. What's the? Oh, I can. Oh, I can change the morphs. Yeah, yo, that's sick. Oh, that's so sick. Oh, it's so, so good. So, so good. All right, what is this? Here's the chance of applying chill to enemies. Enemies, allies have been chilled. Take 10% more critical damage. Chilled? Probably keep that. Reduce effectiveness of snares applied to you by 15%. I don't give a shit. Increase your magic frost damage. Increase chance of applying chill to enemies with winter's embrace abilities. I don't think this does damage or anything. Yeah, it doesn't. So. It's pretty useless. All right, so this is the only one worth a damn. Yeah, let's optimize this build. This turns it into a stamina ability. Okay, I'll get rid of this. I'll get rid of this. Green Lotus. Look at what it does. Critical raining. Wait. Grants weapon critical. Grants spell critical. Okay, it's a choice. Healing thicket. I think I'm gonna get rid of it. Wait, I don't use it anymore. So I'll get rid of it. Really, just in case. Just in case. Never know. I'll keep it. When you hear yourself or an ally under forty percent health with a green, eh, you gain major mending, increasing your healing. Done. Okay, that's good. When you heal an ally with a green, eh, you gain 250 magicka and stamina whenever resource pool is lower. Alright. Sure. Increase your healing done with green, eh, by 2% for each, each one slotted. When you activate a heal on yourself or ally, you grant, grant the target minor toughness. Okay. Sure. I want to try to fix this into um, being a stamina healer again. Two-handed. Keeping all the passives. Getting rid of this power. Just the amount of damage bonus dealt to low health. Other enemies nearby that takes a percentage. Yeah, I like that one the most. What is this one? After reaching your target deal. Damage in the area around them over time. 400 damage for every second. Not bad, but that's not good either. Is this one off balance? Increasing the damage of your next light attack. Yeah, that makes it real good because you basically you can do the ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. That's what makes it do so much damage. The ding dongs also heals. Uh, reduces the cost of rides a brief immunity to snares and immobilize. I got to take that. Bad. One handed, get rid of low slash. Garbage. Um, what is this? Oh, major breach. That's good. Minor protection. Reducing damage taken. Hmm. What does the other one do? 
curious because I could probably make this work. Yeah, I already have minor protection. Yep, yeah, so I'll leave it alone. Go so under one handed. Major breach is better. Okay. Stuns longer. Gains damage shield after after the attack. Okay. Keep tap. Dual wielding. Blade cloak. I'm getting rid of that. Heal tornado. Ability deals more damage the less health enemies have. When enemy is less than 50% health. That sounds good. Increase the radius. Reduce the cost of this ability as three ranks. So. Damage or range? Damage or range? I think we'll do the damage one. 100% more damage after you start spinning. I think that sounds really good. Flick, flick that around. <laughs> flick that around. Increases the initial damage and reduces the enemy's movement. Also heals. That's good. On this one, each hit increases the damage of the su subsequent hit. Um, heals you for a percentage of the damage. I'd rather have the heal. This one reactivated second time to jump to enemies, damaging them and and granting you major brutality. Didn't it always do that? Oh, for 40 seconds. It's like even more. Increases the damage. Dagger now bounces a total three times. Yeah, it's better. The, the shrouded daggers is better. That's fully upgraded. Cool. Bow. What do we got? Increase the range. Reduce the cost. Inflicts him a major minor fracture. Applies minor defile to the enemy, reducing their healing. Deals poison damage. Okay, I think I'd prefer the one I already have. This one increase the duration. Okay. By a second? That's it? Oh, that's stupid. Increase the radius and damage done. Way better. Acid spray. What's this one? Immobilizes. Deals poison. Okay. Better. But I don't use acid spray. I don't really use that attack. I mean. Caltrops is pretty shitty though. And a fracture applied to them. That's the main thing I'm looking at. The main minor fracture. Four seconds. So it debuffs them really well with the caltrops. What does this one do? Doesn't something minor fracture them? I think I'll leave the build like this. 3,000. I don't know. Because uh, arrow spray could be good instead of using caltrops, but I don't know. Let's see. I'll leave it off for now. No destruction staff. Good. Restoration staff. None. Armor. So let's get rid of the lights. Not using light. Turn bonus zero. So you, you have to have light armor things to really take a bene benefit to these. Yeah, I'm not really benefiting to any of these. So I'll shut these off too. I'm not using a medium set. Heavy, full. Measurement. As I can't. Soul magic. Probably evolve it. 
The claim to an enemy's soul dealing with, okay restores health magicka if enemy dies additional enemies near your initial target yeah that's good i don't care about damage this is all about just getting the soul shards and getting the fuck out or that your health drops below 20 percent that's garbage Allows you to receive uh, revive once without spending a gem. That's garbage. Killing an enemy with a weapon ability has a five percent chance to automatically fill empty soul gem. Really? Really? You know what? All right. Take your word for it. So that works. Werewolf. Summon two dire whirlwinds to fight by your side. Black. Your light attacks gain bleed. Heavy attacks deal damage in a cone. Pouncing at least 10 meters away uh, adds duration to the werewolf. I don't need that. Deals damage of the nearby enemies. Hell yeah. Uh, this one do. Increase the healing done. Increase your weapon damage. Hell yeah. Your enemies also set them off balance. Reduce the cost of the ability. Rank up. Reduces enemies physical resistance. Hell yeah. <laughs> this one. Grand synergy to allies. Increasing their damage done. Fuck them. Deals more damage to enemies that are feared. Yes. Inflicts enemies with major er, defile. The damage over time heals you for damage. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. These are good. Guild. Fighters Guild. I was messing around with Fighters Guild abilities. Not using Dawnbreaker. I like the sound of this one, but I'm not using it. It's whatever. Bird Hunter. This. I don't know. Leave that alone. Trap can be thrown 28 meters away. Increase the duration of damage over time and minor force. Minor force. Oh, increasing. Ten seconds, twelve seconds. Oh, it gives minor force. Or, hmm. Yeah, it's more damage over time. Like double damage over time for two extra seconds. I'll take that. Mage's Guild. I don't have anything perfect. This one. Perfect. Daunted. I'll get rid of this. Bone Shield is... So-so. Not using Bone Shield anymore. Weakling power. That's if you really can't handle taking damage. We'll keep the taunt. Converse with stamina ability. Take more damage from your attacks. What is it? A debuff? There's four percent of your max health. Earn bonus is two. What? I'll get rid of this one. That one's a waste of time. I never activate synergies, and then when I do, like it's. It's just too random for me. 
Lion's War. Okay, so let me see what I can do with cow traps. Increases the duration, rapidly drains, amount stamina of any enemies. Applies major fracture to the damage enemies. Yeah, I like that. It's a nice debuff. Rapid maneuver, I'm not using it anymore, so I'm gonna get rid of it. Use your weapon and spell damage. For 10 minutes after you capture a lumber mill. I never PvP. Increase your, the range of your lung range abilities by 2 meters. Your keep. Fuck that. This. Your healing done when you're near a keep. Through that. The PvP abilities. Take these. Alchemy. Up that. I'll up these as much as possible. That was basically the goal. So much better. That was awesome. That was so worth respecting. Look at that. And I have 11 skill points remaining. That's perfect. The build is good. I'll get rid of this. Oh shit. I got I, I could get rid of some more. Coin swarm. Ace, but let me see what it does. Person to a stamina ability. Deals bleed damage, deals additional damage to nearby enemies. Nah. Get rid of it. Subterranean soul, get rid of that. Yeah, this whole line is pretty garble. It's cool for leveling up, but it's it's whatever. At the end game. Anytime one of your animal companions skills ends, you are healed. Really? Oh, but when it ends, uh, it's pretty stupid. When you cast the animal companion ability while you are in combat, wait for ultimate. Guess just that one is the only one I have active. Increase your damage done by 2% for animal companion abilities. That's it. That's all I got. So 2%. You cast... Uh, whatever, I'll get rid of that too. If I was using this as a serious set, these passives would have made more sense, but I'm not. It not really make a whole lot of sense to even use them. Ooh, that's what I wanted to change. Vigor. Increase the radius, increase the duration as the ability ranks up. Yeah, this. I wanted to get the AoE heal version. This heals for a lot more, this one, but um, it's very selfish. It's only single target. See, this one's an AOE. This one does double the healing, but single target. So it's very selfish. We'll go back into AOE healing. 
back. Cool. Very good. All right, it's a good build. That way I can have all the things I wanted. I still have a ton of skill points available. Perfect. That was awesome. That was beautiful. Quiz. Swap D. How much does this cost? Two thousand nine hundred. Actually, it's cheaper. Hmm. It's four thousand. Yeah. Yeah, it's a better attack. Throw dagger is cool and all, but I don't know. Actually, I'll probably keep both. I'll do this. Do one of these numbers. Probably swap these whenever I want to heal for a team. Because I want to put the mushroom ability still in the tray. I want to be a healer, you know? Kind of wish I had a sixth ability, you know? It'll make it so much better. Divines protect you just as you protected our honored keepers. Stranger, may we speak? Something. Where is it? Fighters Guild. Yeah, critical damage. Does this one increases damage by 20%? Four thousand four hundred. Only by two hundred points. Yeah, I'll get rid of it. Get rid of it. I'll put the, the heal. Okay, there. Healer. Hey, look at that. Damage is stupid. Really no point.
I'm gonna try to do a build like this for my um what's it my necromancer yeah, I'm gonna go two-hander I'm gonna try fucking around with some abilities right now Does so much damage. I love two hundred. There's a lot of stuff up. Nothing. More stuff up ahead.
in combat. Multitask. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Under messages. Your day was great, man. That's good to hear that. Yeah, everything's been good over here too. Chilling. I got this new um, add-on running. Pretty nice. I'm able to see where everything is so it's <laughs> it's been pretty badass for trying to make some money yeah. see look at it boom instant chest find all the chest everywhere beautiful i'm definitely making a video on this on the youtube channel so i'll put that up hoodie thanks for the subscribe I also respect my build. It's actually, I really, really love what they did with respecting builds. It's so good now. It makes it so easy to just kind of morph, remorph things and kind of switch things around. You don't have to get rid of it completely and then redo everything from scratch. So it's less tedious to respec. It's so good. Love it. Round gathering stuff. Probably get back to questing now. I wanted to go do some quest in Warden Place. <clears throat> Couldn't be that active because I'm playing Warcraft right now or Minecraft. All right, yeah, no problem. Built a company in it. Go <laughs> crazy, because everybody wants a house. Oh shit, that sounds <laughs> sounds pretty crazy. Is that like Roblox? Because I saw like my my little cousin, like he he plays Roblox. And he was showing me like his factory, and he has like a he has like a corporation <laughs> inside of Roblox, and so he has like a bunch of employees and things. Like it's so ridiculous. Like it's so I couldn't believe like all the things he came up with. The distance. Got a grab. Oh, and it's that's right there. And no one's farming in this zone. Ooh, a master one. L to the Yize. Oh. That was close. Plague Doctor set, hell yeah. Plague Doctor is a really good set. It's like one of my favorite tanking sets, like for beginners. If you just want to be a tank, get that Plague Doctor. Perfect. Get so much hit points that you don't even know what to do with it. Be creative as fuck. 
Yeah, I've, I've played Minecraft for a little bit, but I didn't really take it that seriously, though. Yeah, I know you can build... You can build, like, anything you want. I saw people building... Like, Mario Brother World and stuff. Like, they were just going wild with it. And you can load into people's worlds, right? Didn't you see other people's stuff? All these chests. It's been raining like all day in the game and in real life. It's like a super rainy day today. I don't know what's going on. Chests. There's a chest across the street though. Street meaning lake. Son of a bitch. Are you serious? You came over here just to smack me once? You're an asshole. Also, oh, you can. You there? Are you the courier from Artisan's Crafts Work? Nah, I'm not. I'm not here to talk to you. <laughs> I'm busy with my own thing. I need aid. Ah, uh -huh, you failed. Very crappy healer. There's uh, another heavy sack. Take care of these guys before. Inside. Yep, here it is. This. Blueprint, a recipe. Oh, they loaded me up. Up. Earning things. Oh, and there's uh, another heavy sack across the street here. Your chest up ahead. There. Two seconds. Wish I could uh, like sprint in the water. Like you know, like swim faster. I'll allow you. This is addictive as hell. Just running around gathering things. Okay. Let me get back on track with what I wanted to do today. Uh, let's see. So I wanted to finish Vardenfell. And... What else? 
Alt F4. <laughs> Lol. Loller. Take the boat. Um, let me do some crafting. Let me go mess around with some crafting. I think I'll mess around with some crafting and I'll take a break for a little bit. Been playing for a while. I like to at least like close my eyes for a little bit, just kind of not stare at a screen for eight hours straight. Not normal. At least not for me anymore. It used to be. I used to be able to do this all fucking day, like twelve hour shift of just great gaming. Get old. Let me check this. I think there's two. Heavy sacks in here. Oh, right, that's what I wanted to do. Go to the bank. Oh, don't mind the big chunk of. Fill up on space so fast. Okay. Then you break apart the ones that are not worth money. Tinker's great so don't see any pricing. There's sorrow. Could be worth money. I'll just break apart everything that doesn't have bonuses on it. But that. Except for that one. That one looks like crap. Anything that's a rubite, I'll just break apart. Anything with a special name, I'll keep. Do the special name ones, live wire. Oh, damn, I have like the whole set of live wire. Things. Whoa, I leveled up a lot. I could give you a song and dance, but when all a lot of live work. Best time gaming was sixty two hours. Whoa. 42 minutes. <laughs> you even got the minutes down. I made a bet with a friend, but then I slept 24 hours slate, uh, sleep <laughs> straight. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Damn. More inventory space.
to a different station. Probably light armor. All the ancestor and the ruby. Into... Filter it by name. All incest. Pretty much anything that doesn't have a set on it. was awesome and other or woodwork but Wow, my I can't get words together anymore. War maiden set. Okay, those. These two Ruby Ash. I'll get rid of them. Nice. The mastic. That's worth a shit ton of money. That's worth Go so, thank you again. Red Mountain. sell that if I can. Yeah, I can sell. Perfect. Fine. Now I gotta head over to the auction house. Yeah. <laughs> record this bit I'm actually gonna be making a video on all this stuff yeah I am getting hungry I ate a little uh I call it? saw that you fool I ate one of those uh pita bread thing I'm gonna take a break now after I sell all my stuff here, or at least to list it. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, I only ate one pita thing. That was it. I didn't overstuff. <laughs> Six came to my head. Um, two. Just yeah, just two. Yay, she's making burgers. <laughs> Excitement. All right, so. After a long day of grinding my ass off, I was able to get a ton of sets out of like going to all the treasure chests and grabbing everything. So I'm going to put all these things for sale. Look at these rings of necropace, like a million of them. So I could do the legwork and actually turn these into blues. Kind of lazy right now, so I'm not going to. But um, I'm going to list everything on the auction house so something i can do for you first things first so let's i'm gonna filter it 
So like uh, right here is saying the price that I can list it for. It says average is going for 2,600. Let's verify that. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna search this up. First thing you can, you can do is do it within your own guild trader. Search it up. No items found. So no one's selling through my guild. So now I'm just gonna copy this. Copy. I'm going to go over to the website. I'm going to paste it. There it is. Bow of Vampire. Search. Filter for price. So lowest price. And it looks like 25 minutes ago, somebody uploaded one for $234. So they're not really going for a whole lot. So even the blues are not going for a whole lot. I'm going to look to see what kind of this, which one I have specifically is a defending one. See, you want to look at that because that stat can't be changed. That's the RNG of this game. The only thing that can be changed is the very first one. You can basically um, use a rune to change that. But the one that says defending, you can't change. So maybe somebody's interested in that because they're looking for more spell and physical resistance to make kind of like a tankier build. So uh, this could be something that somebody wants. So it looks like the going prices are around $400 ish. It's not really worth a whole lot. Probably get rid of it for $400 ish. There's a lot on the market. There's like way too much. There's so much. So I could probably list it for $500. Not going to sell fast, but still better than nothing. And there we go. List that. This one, Staff of the Fathom. See, this is if you want to go over the top and actually like search everything. I'm going to go ahead and search everything just because I want to make sure I'm not making a bad decision here. Search it up. There it is. They're going for, oh, these, these are bad. So these are going for about 600 it looks like it jumps to a thousand pretty fast so i could probably get away with selling this for for a thousand I'll probably get away with it just it's not going to be an instant sell so this i'll put it for 1000 boom and then um this one you see how it shows minimum 750? Let's see if that's true. I'm going to search this up again. Copy. Paste it over here. Ow. Oh. There. So if you're down to do the extra legwork to see all this stuff, then you'll probably be able to sell things see 17 hours ago it probably sold already when it's that long ago it probably sold already like if you filter it for like last seen probably have a better chance of seeing something more recent see this guy's selling for 2800 you guys are on crack it doesn't seem like that's an average because it kind of jumps around a lot so what i could do is i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna sell this one I'll put it for put it for the minimum. I'll put 750. Put it for 750. Just add tinkers. See what this one is. Yeah, so so on and so forth. Do this all day long. Last seen five minutes ago for 5,000. Lowest one for 666. So I'm not going to get much out of this. People are on crack and they're putting $10,000. They're on crack. So this is not going for much. I'll put it for. I'll put it since it's green too. It's not going to go for much. Five. I'll put it for 500 bucks. That's a quick 500 bucks right there. Fuck it. 
the ones that are really worth a lot you really got to look up like this one might be worth something this one says 4500 as a minimum who knows would be good Uh, just search it up real quick. Ten minutes ago, he uploaded for two forty. So he did the minimum, and he lost out. Somebody must have bought that out. It looks good. Pricing looks nice at the thousands. So I could probably get away with selling this for fifteen hundred. So this one. The minimum price 1000 you see that it's it's pretty accurate when it says the minimum price that means you can get rid of it real fast if you put it for the minimum so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna sell it for a thousand i'm gonna take its word for it thousand this one says minimum six i'm just gonna take its word for it from now on 600 boom this one doesn't have a listing price not available to me up so you can pretty much do this all day. If you want to maximize your prices, you want to like really look up things, but I'm too lazy for that. And I'm not trying to become a millionaire tonight. But I don't really care. So I could probably list this for five to a thousand. I'll list it for five. Looks like a five hundred. Like Doctor One, this one's good. Um, it's a training one, not that desirable, but um, I'll put it, put it for five hundred. This is not a super valuable set. So I'll put it for the actual minimum. It says five five five. This one, I don't know. Let's look this up. The ones that don't actually show anything, I just look it up. Whoa, crack. This guy's on super crack. $100,000. $100,000. The guy underneath him is selling for 10000 So this guy's on crack. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with this guy? Let's look for a lowest price. People are pricing it for a thousand dollars and then everybody else is on crack and they're putting her for nine thousand so that means that this is a desirable weapon so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna price this at five thousand that's still gonna undercut the shit out of them so i'll put it okay i'll put it let's put it at a reasonable price let's put it at seven thousand there that way we don't super rip ourselves off and we'll still probably sell it pretty quick this one, what would this go for? I hate that it opens up so many windows. I'm going to have like 7,000 windows open. Another one. Wait. Didn't copy my thing right. We're made in this lightning staff. There we go. So filtering under price. Okay, it's going for good money. Look at this. The lowest one is 2000 and then it goes up to 10000 on average. So I could probably get away with selling this for about 6 or 7 to really make sure I got to make a little bit of cash. So I'll sell it for 5000. This is only a green, so it's not really worth a whole lot. 5,000. Ah, I'm full on listings. Damn. All right, so I'm going to have to wait for things to sell. If I have to reprice them, then I will. And then uh, just kind of work with it like that. But yeah, that's the pretty much the concept. You got to play around with it. It's going to take a lot of trial and error. Just don't get ripped off by posting it for $200. Like, that's when you really rip yourself off. So, um, anyway, but that's pretty much it. Let me stop. This. Okay, but um, I'm going to end the stream here. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to 
eat something, take a break, maybe come back later, do some more of this. I definitely want to play more. And I want to play around with the auction house some more. Get some practice. Hopefully make a lot of cash in the process. But yeah, anyway, have a good day, guys. See you in the next.